Hello my cash stuffing friends and welcome to my very first YouTube video. My name is Dee and on my channel we talk all things cash stuffing, budgeting and small business related. Now in true first video fashion of course I forgot to film an intro so we're just gonna jump straight in. I've been meaning to update my binders for a little while now, so I thought what better time than my very first video here on YouTube. So as you can see, what I'm starting off with is actually personalizing all of my wallets just to make it all nice and cohesive and let's be real, aesthetic. <laughs> Can we quickly address the elephant in the room? Clearly, I am not a pro with my camera yet <laughs> and the lighting is wildly off in this video, but it's the first try, so let's please be kind. <laughs> Hopefully with time, I figure out all the settings and I can actually have the videos looking quite how I want them to be. But for now, we make do with what we've got. <laughs> Clearly, your girl has got a lot of things that she wants to budget for. <laughs> this is definitely a lot of categories, but I like to be prepared for everything. And here is the blue binder I was telling you about. This is the one I'm getting rid of. I've had this one the longest. It was the very first one I ever got, but it's time. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> After I finished personalizing the wallets, what I ended up doing is taking all of the old ones out of the binders, just so I can actually sort them through um, and kind of update them a little bit. So I decided to use the pink one as uh, an essentials one, but I, I really struggled to get this cardboard out. I mean, what is going on here? <laughs> But after a fairly long struggle, I finally got there in the end and I managed to remove it. Hooray. <laughs> so then I went ahead and actually started putting the new wallets in, starting off with the weekly food shop and then gas and electric. I have been trying to do these in order of priority. So next is Bobba's Essentials and then the cat, followed by my personal folder. And I'm adding family time, which is a new one. This is for like days out or if we ever wanna go and do things well as a family. <laughs> so that's the pink essentials folder done. I'm now moving on to the white one, which as I said, will be like a sinking funds folder and sinking funds for anyone who may know. Now I'm not a financial expert by any means. I found a definition online that reads, a sinking fund is a strategic way to save money for a specific purchase by setting aside a little bit each month. Now I think that sums it up quite nicely and that's kind of my idea behind it. So so this folder is things that I'm saving for that will eventually get spent so it's not like long-term savings but I'm saving for a specific thing for example getting my hair and nails done or saving for my next tattoo and lastly I'm moving on to my last purple binder and like I said this one will be used for savings and I'm starting off by putting my Christmas fund in there which is also a new one that I'm really excited to have because I'm really excited to get on top of it this year and not overspend and then I also went ahead and put my £10 savings challenge and I believe the penny saving challenge one in as well. I didn't really plan this one out. I just kind of winged the order that I did these in. And to be honest, with time, I might even change the, the order that I put them in because like I said, I put them in a priority basis, but sometimes it might get annoying or I might find that I'm not filling one up as much as another one. So I might just kind of swap them around. That's all part of cash stuffing in my opinion. That's why I love it. It's personal and you just do what works for you. So now that I've put all of my wallets into the different binders and I'm happy with the order that I've put them in, what I'm doing is going through all the old ones and I'm just transferring any money that was in the old wallets. Um, a lot of these are new, so some of them will not have any money in and they will be stuffed in the next video. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. <laughs> And because I'm due to do a cash stuffing, that means that a few of these wallets are empty. And you know what, yeah, I can't quite decide what to do when I get around to doing my cash stuffing. Because as you can see that some of these do have money left in there still, like Jackson's Essentials um, for his nappies and wipes, there's still £10 in there. But I'm due to do a cash stuffing literally in a couple of days. So it's like, do I take out what's already in there or do I just add on top of it? Because currently uh, the only leftovers that I actually utilize is from the weekly food shop. So if there's any money left over in there on a Sunday, I take it out, put it in an envelope and forget about it until the end of the year. Which is actually something that I saw Lisa over on TikTok. She um, goes by Mum Who Budgets. Definitely check her out if you haven't already. But if you've seen my videos, then I'm sure you've probably seen hers. But yeah, thanks to her, I got the idea last year to do this. And within less than half a year, I had saved like, I think six or 700 pounds just by saving the leftovers. 
So definitely amazing and I can't wait to see how much we can get done this year because it's a full year as well. I'm doing from November to November. Um, hopefully I don't have to open it early but we're making a good start already which is really really good. I did forget to mention as well for a lot of these like the new ones and even just ones that I'm updating uh, I am adding some of my own trackers in there. If you don't know I smell... smell? <laughs> If you don't know, I sell um, these laminated savings trackers. Um, you can find them on my Etsy shop, TikTok shop, or my website. They will all be linked down below. But here's another reason why I love um, that I'm starting out on this YouTube journey, because I can actually articulate my thoughts for a longer amount of time. I personally don't think that you need to buy these savings trackers. I think if you have the time and you're patient, oh, Yep, of course, I'm just going to knock them over. <laughs> yeah, that wallet was a bit dodgy. I think the zip was just glued together, which is why I struggled to open it so much. And when I eventually tried to force it, it ripped. So I had to put a new one in, which luckily was not sealed together. But as I was saying before the disaster ensued, I personally don't think that you have to spend money to buy all these trackers. While I do appreciate everyone who purchases from me and personally I have purchased from people in the past before I was making my own, but at the time I really didn't have the money uh, even though I wanted more which is what uh, inspired me to create my own and then people just so happened to want them and were asking for them so that's how the business got started but honestly I think if you're creative or like I said if you have the time just get a piece of paper hand draw it I've seen a couple of people do this on TikTok actually and I really rate that because you really don't need to spend the money do you know what I mean you don't it's nice to invest and it's nice to get all these pretty things and I mean don't get me wrong it's really fun to be able to have one in almost every single wallet for all the different categories I have and I do think that they really help with motivation I really truly do believe that and a lot of people have told me this as well but if you're just starting out you don't have to spend the money to be able to save like I said just find a design online draw it out and just use that until maybe you can afford to buy one So after organising everything, I realised there are three wallets that uh, got left out. One of which was deposit, one of which was for emergency fund and my rainy day fund, which was kept in my essentials folder just in case we ever ran out of the essentials. It was just like a little backup, a little safety net to ease my anxiety a little bit. <laughs> And unfortunately, I did forget about it when I was making the labels. So I'm just going to add it back to my essentials folder at the back, um, just like I did the last time. And I'm going to add to it as and when I can because it has gone down drastically. As for the other two categories, I'm actually going to get rid of them and I'm going to substitute them for a new one, which is called uh, a new home fund. Because at the end of the day, the deposit was meant to be saving for a new house. Not necessarily anytime soon. We've recently uh, rented into a private private property again well yeah private renting so we're really not looking to move anytime soon and realistically we cannot afford to buy anything right now so it's just it's part of the dream so we're adding what we can when we can but there is absolutely no pressure no time as to when this needs to be done by or anything so I had a hundred and and £10 left over from those two categories so what I did was put £50 into new, into the new home fund and I put in the remaining 60 in the home upgrades wallet because we really want to get that floor done ASAP and also this will give us a lovely head start. I cannot stop looking at this binder honestly, it's so mesmerising. But my friends, we have made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and I really hope to see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a great day! Bye.